Have you ever wondered what happens to fragrances once they get pulled off the shelves? Are they forever forgotten or do they become these legendary hidden gems just waiting to be rediscovered? Well, I ordered a box of rare and discontinued fragrances to determine just that. I'm going down a rabbit hole of ultra rare and discontinued fragrances and you won't believe what scents we got lined up. Because one of these fragrances just might be the very best release of the year. So. Let's see what rare fragrances we got in store. Starting with Jean Bravado's Oud. Now Jean Bravado's Oud was released back in 2016, but it was short lived because it got discontinued two short years later in 2018. Similar to Dark Rebel, Bravado's Oud didn't really match that fresh style that Jean Bravado's is known for. Instead, they went with this smoky Oud in this fragrance and that could be why this one was discontinued. But for Oud lovers out there, this one has become a bit of a collection collector's piece. It's known to be exotic, a little rugged, however, it's supposed to be still wearable, which is why it's still sought after today. But enough about that, let's get into this. Pop the box. Typically, John Bovados nails the presentation, and although this does look good, I have to say, I'm super disappointed. When I saw this online for years and years, prior to picking this one up, I always thought that this was this metal piece and that the bottle would look amazing. Now, although it does look good, it's just plastic and it feels super cheap. However, since we can't fix that, let's go ahead and talk about this juice. Okay, right off the bat, you get something that is dark and smoky, not necessarily packed with oud. It's deep, it's resinous, but it's not particularly overpowering, likely on account of that sweetness that you get underneath. Now, although it does say oud, you don't get the traditional oud feel, you get something more of a woody aspect. Now, despite the presentation for this one feeling cheap, everything about the fragrance just smells luxurious and I kind of dig it. Now, if you've been around on the channel for a while, then you know that I was a huge fan of Dark Rebel and that one got discontinued. This one feels more or less like a continuation of that. And honestly, I'm not sure which one came out first. It's giving off this luxury cigar bar or executive lounge type of vibe. It's definitely not a fragrance for everyday wear, but if you are into bolder, deeper, richer scents, then this one could be for you. Now, I know I say bolder, deeper, richer, but this one's not overly aggressive or overpowering so you can rock this one with confidence and know that you're not going to offend anyone at least with normal sprays my first impression on this one cheap presentation but it makes a statement by the way, for today's video, I picked these fragrances up from the rare gem section on fragrancebuy.ca. It's where I go when I'm looking for those elusive fragrances that are nearly impossible to find elsewhere. It's exactly where I picked up my bottle of Tom Ford Reef D'Ambre, as well as Bulgari Aqua Amara. And when I picked those up, I paid some decent prices. Now, before we dive into the next rare fragrance, I gotta put you on again. Fragrancebuy.ca is getting a year older and they're celebrating their anniversary with a massive sale. Starting today until Sunday, October 29th at 11 p.m. Eastern time, you can snag additional 11% off the entire website with using code FB11. And it gets even better. Spend 111 bucks and you're gonna get free shipping with code 11SHIP. Plus, if you're one of the first 250 people to place an order of $400 or more, you're gonna get a luxury luxury gift automatically added to your car. We're talking far from Damali, Zhirjov hairsprays, deodorants, and even candles valued over $60. And if that's not enough, the first 5,000 orders are gonna get free samples with their purchase. But here's the kicker. They also have a golden ticket. If your order is at least $150, you can qualify to get the entire thing waived. Like, for free, you get your entire order waived up to $500. Yes, five lucky winners are gonna have their entire order waived and with deals so good, I plan on ordering two fragrances myself. This sale is stacked from discounts, 
freebies and the chance to win big no matter if you're looking to pick up rare and discontinued fragrances or just to add something new to your collection check out fragranceby.ca but remember it's this weekend only so don't miss your chance to win big next up we got armani other than wheat pour on this fragrance was released back in 2014 but was quietly discontinued in 2016. now to be fair it was marked as a limited edition fragrance which could explain the short shelf life however we know from experience that limited edition doesn't always mean limited stock but maybe they made a mistake because honestly i heard that this one's a hidden gem it said that people love this one for its smooth elegant blend of tonka and leather and personally i've been told it's one of those if you know you know type of fragrance so let's see if it's as sexy as masculine and good for date nights as it's cracked up to be now let's see what we got here. The presentation for this fragrance is very sleek, very masculine, very Armani. The bottle is classic, it's dark, and as you would expect in typical Armani fashion, the presentation just had this elegant feel. But let's see if the fragrance is as smooth as the bottle itself. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you guys might already be up on this, but this thing is smooth, let me tell you. On the first spray of this, you get a subtle freshness in the top. It's a little sweet, but then it just transitions into this magnificent blend of something that's rich. That leather and Tonka Bing combo, oh boy. <laughs> Listen, this was putting a smile on my face. It's subtle, but it's confident. It's not in your face, but it's definitely noticeable. This is the type of fragrance that would be perfect for a date night. It's classy, but it has just enough edge and umph about it where the woman that's around you is gonna be like, okay, I see what you're putting down. Wear this one in the fall and winter, cashmere sweater, leather jacket, just a nice sweater in general. Oh man, you're gonna stand out. If you don't have this one in your collection, be sure to check it out. It's not an expensive buy, especially for what fragrances are releasing for today. You're getting your money's worth on this one. Not sure of the longevity yet, but I'm a fan. Next up is a 2024 release from Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this one is Le Beau Paradise Garden. And although this one isn't discontinued, this is incredibly difficult to find here in the US. From what I hear, people love this fragrance for its tropical, fresh vibe, which makes sense because when I think of other Le Beau fragrances, that coconut is a prominent note, and I'm wondering if it's the same or if we're gonna get a bunch of florals. Let's open this bad boy up. Listen, the packaging and the bottle on this one are quite fun. You got the leaf over top of the junk here. They might've watched my videos in the past when I blurred that out and finally put some respect on Sir Bo here. So that coconut note is prevalent here. It's here. You get the coconut for sure. And there's a bit of juicy nuance to this scent too, which I'm digging. There's also this greenness within this fragrance, but it doesn't come off as earthy or grass-like. I dig it. Personally, I think it lives up to its name. It's like a tropical excursion and that paradise garden just makes sense. It does have that green outdoors nature, but not grassy or earthy, but it still has that tropical vibe and it smells like a fragrance that I will put on as a prime candidate fragrance during this warmer weather. It's like a tropical cocktail, but in fragrance form. It's bold, it's playful, and super enjoyable. The Tonka Bean adds some sweetness and creaminess to this fragrance, and there are some layers here, so it adds a little bit of depth to this overall composition, but if you're looking for a perfect tropical fragrance that you can wear, maybe even just a vacation fragrance, then this is one of those that you can spray on, and it's far cheaper than like a virgin olive water. That said, it doesn't smell anything like virgin olive water. My first impression, this one is tropical, it's creamy, and an all around fun fragrance, and one that I would say is definitely worth hunting down, and I'm glad I did. Now, I can't definitively say that this is the best fragrance release for 2024, at least not yet, 
but it's up there. Next, we have Encore Noir from La Ligue, and this fragrance was released back in 2006, and uh, this one had quite a long run, as this one went from 2006 all the way to 2018. This was almost like this cult-like classic following where this fragrance was known for its dark, woody, and smoky vibes. And I've never smelled this fragrance. Now, I do remember like watching fragrance reviews from Steven and Drac Doc talking about this one, and I've never tried it. So I'm excited to try it today. The presentation for this one is pretty simple. It's dark, it has this mysterious allure to it, and the fragrance is supposed to be along those same lines, so I I think it's living up to the expectations, at least so far. The bottle for this one is quite heavy, so you feel like you're getting something that's up to par, so to speak. So let's see if this scent is anything like what this presentation looks and feels like. Now, I know someone's gonna say, I'm well aware that I sprayed this on the wrong side of the strip. However, to me, it just makes more sense to use the smaller side so this gets more of the fragrance. But to answer the original question, I think that the fragrance does smell very similar to how it looks. It's intense. On that first spray, you immediately get this earthiness along with that vetiver, and that vetiver is shining through, and it's really this uh, dirty vetiver. There's some smoky nature to this fragrance as well, and a slight touch of green. Now, the Paradise Garden had some green there. That was more of this underlying freshness. This one is more of a earthy, gritty, greenness to it, like you went outside to touch grass. Although it's very different than the fragrances that we've smelled so far, I can see why people would enjoy this scent. It really does have this nice woodiness about this fragrance, but my first impression here is that it's intense, it's bold, it's mysterious, and it's dark. If you're into unique fragrances, then this one could definitely be a game changer. Look, each of these fragrances brings something new to the table. So if you're looking for a rare gem or if you're looking to just restock and rebuild your fragrance collection, then give my friends over at fragrancebuy.ca a try. I'm super happy I went on the hunt for these rare and discontinued fragrances. And each of these scents brings something totally new and something totally unique to the collection here. So I'm proud about that. No matter if you're looking for a rare gem or if you just want to add the latest and greatest to your fragrance collection then go ahead and check out the anniversary sale at fragrancebuy.ca they've got some incredible deals that you don't want to miss out on so click the links and use the codes down below to start saving today if you enjoyed this video then click here to see what happened when i picked up cheap fake fragrances from Timo.